Hi, I'm Mike with Bar Tech Services here with your tech tip of the day. Power supply, how, how important is it really? I mean, I, we talk to a lot of guys on the phone and, they, and we ask them, how's your power supply? And they say, oh, it's fine. Uh, but it doesn't really matter, that's the question. So um, yes, having a stable power supply is critical for the life and the reliability of an HVAC unit. So uh, we're gonna talk about how that impacts compressor starting today. So when you're checking the power supply, the first thing you want to do is get your voltmeter out and you want to check the incoming power to the circuit breaker. And it's important not to just check it when it's static, if it's not running. You want to know what the power supply is doing, what the voltage is doing when the compressor tries to start. Because you're going to find that in an unstable application such as a generator, uh, the voltage actually falls off quite a bit. And what can happen is the compressor drops into a locked rotor and it'll lag there for a period of time. Um, and what'll happen is our compressor control module will lock the compressor out. Now this can be random depending on the demands of the grid at the time. So while you're there, it, you may not see it actually not start, but you can get a good indication of what the power supply is doing by checking it when the compressor tries to start. Now, if you have an older product, you're gonna have a compressor control module that doesn't have any adjustment um, for that delay, that brownout protection is really what that's called. But with the newer product out there, we have a compressor control module that has dip switches on it right down here. And those allow you to adjust a delay in there where it ignores uh, the voltage drop for a period of time, allowing that compressor to get started in that locked rotor a current to fall off, and that can eliminate a big portion of your starting issues. So if you're experiencing starting issues, take a look at your compressor control module. If it has adjustments, you wanna set the dip switches, and you can go into the installation manual of the unit to see how to adjust that. If you don't have a CCM with those adjustments, you can order one of those through your local bar distributor. And that's your tech tip of the day.